Um, Rakeda, I mentioned last stream that Rakeda had had taken up a habit of like canceling his streams constantly, and it was very bizarre. And he's done it again. Um, he says he has a goddamn fever. Had a fever all day and chomped down meds all day. Still feeling like trash. Going to try and shiver it out. See you tomorrow. Um. So I got sick recently. I had um, influenza B. And I was sick as a dog for a couple of days. I canceled stream for it. And um, Rikeda gets sick enough he has to cancel streams like every week now. Which really makes me wonder what the state of his health condition is. Because is, is it, if he, it would make more, I think most people would suspect simply that Rikeda cancels his streams because he wants to go swinging or he's like too drunk or he doesn't just doesn't want to do it that day so he just says like i got a fever and then cancels however there is the option that he really is getting sick this much he if it, it's probably not 109 degree temperatures as he claims um but if he is getting sick enough that he can't actually stream it leads you to wonder why um I'm, I, I would imagine that alcoholism can reduce your autoimmune system. AIDS also reduces your autoimmune system. Though that That's like down the line. Even if he was HIV positive now, I think with the, the PrEP pill, is it PrEP? I think it's PrEP that's like the anti-HIV thing. I think even if that he could just take PrEP and he wouldn't get AIDS, like full-blown AIDS actually inhibiting his immune system um, for a few years, if ever. Um, so I don't know. It could be that he's not eating. Like, there's several things that can inhibit your, your autoimmune system. Um, so it's just bizarre. Here's, a, I downloaded this video. Another news, Nick Riccade's friend and, and Steel Toe Morning Show host Aaron M. Holte, uh, claims that he was, when he visited the Riccade household, um, he was left to feed Riccade's children, who asked him, can someone please make me food, as... They're off doing something or they're busy or whatever. As a result, Aaron has been making cans and cans of SpaghettiOs. So, this is a very dire accusation. Let's listen to it before I try to speculate. It's just, it's, so, it's, it's amazing how it, it just brings you right back. Like, I've been, I've been making a shitload of SpaghettiOs lately. Because, like, I'll go to, uh, like, I'll go hang out uh, at the Ricada's house. And they're, like... <laughs> Their kids will be like, can someone make me some food? And, like, everyone's busy. They're off doing something or they're busy or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll make you some SpaghettiOs. Sounds good. And then, like, so I've been making, like, cans and cans of SpaghettiOs. And it's, like, exposure therapy. And I'm like, fuck, there, there have been so many times where I've, like, wanted to eat SpaghettiOs. Like, a nine-year-old. I think the video is corrupt now. Sorry, let me try it. It's like, I don't give a fuck if they have lunch or not. I just want that goddamn can of SpaghettiOs. This is such a, this guy has such a sleazy fucking voice. Like, this is not the kind of person that you would want making lunch for your kids. He just has the voice of like a, like someone from New Jersey. who's like also a, like a serial killer or something like, yeah, I'll make you little shits a can of SpaghettiOs. Honestly, honestly, if we're being real here, I just want the SpaghettiOs for myself. But for you little shits, if I, if I, I as a grown man was out here eating SpaghettiOs, you'd think I was the biggest sack of shit. But since I got some kids here to make SpaghettiOs for, I'll make them for myself and I'll give you some so it doesn't look like I'm 40 and eating SpaghettiOs by choice. It's like that's not that's not the person that I would want minding my children um while while streaming this fucking this fucking lunatic. And the funny thing is <coughs> that he's trying to couch it as like like this this fun bit, like, yeah man, I've been eating a fuck ton of spaghettios because that's all Rakeda's children eat and I make m lunch for them apparently because they're desperately hungry. 
<laughs> when I come over, everyone goes, yay, it's the SpaghettiOs, man. We get to eat today. Mommy's passed out with Xanax on the couch and Daddy's in the goon room that we're not allowed to enter. <laughs> we don't get, we, <laughs> we're too small to get up to the counter and open uh, SpaghettiOs ourselves. The microwave's over the oven. We can't even find a stool to stand on to get to that. But since the SpaghettiOs man is here, we get to eat today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like the reason why they the um public schools are now just like cafeterias for children like are you a child that doesn't eat you can just stay at school now we'll feed you at 5 p.m if you come early you can have breakfast too lunch is on the house too if you can't afford it don't worry about it it's like he, he needs to stop micro schooling and just send those little shits to public school so they can have some fucking spaghettios at lunch he doesn't have to do anything they can even stay late and have a have have a spaghetti for for dinner too. Ugh. I don't know because my my thought is, where's the mom? Where's Lady Rackets at? If he can't even make like, dude, I have a feeling like if there is an arrangement like because like he constantly, constantly, constantly complains that um, he has to drive kids everywhere. So if it is true that there's like seven kids and they all have different schedules and the mom is having to like actually go and drive kids around like all day, every day. And then there's like some parts where it's like, okay, it's like the chicken, the chicken, the grain and the fox. Like, how do you get the chicken, the grain and the fox across the bridge? If the chicken eats the grain, the fox eats the, the chicken and you can only carry um, one at a time. It's like you bring the. What is it? You bring the chicken over, you go back, you bring the grain over, you bring the chicken back, you take the fox over, then you can go back empty-handed to get the chicken, bring it over. How do you get all six little shits to where they belong when daddy doesn't feed them? <laughs> you can't leave little Johnny at home because little Johnny is not tall enough to cook the SpaghettiOs. Um, so you got to make sure that mom is the one dropping off little Johnny every time. because if you, But you can leave uh, little Joel at the house because Joel can cook the SpaghettiOs. It's like a math problem. You gotta organize this out on a piece of paper and like visualize it so that you can figure out the precise order of SpaghettiOs, Riketa, uh, uh, Mommy, Mommy Riketa's car. Um, <laughs> yeah, Riketa has seven kids, not this fucking loser. I don't think this guy's ever, I, I don't think this guy's allowed near kids, but I'm pretty sure Riketa has like seven. Baldo is just as good. Dude, if the arrangement is that he has to cook the SpaghettiOs for little Timmy because little Timmy's too fucking small to cook SpaghettiOs, then yeah, that is his job. Like, how hard is it to have a reminder on your stream, like a little bell that goes ding, 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 and then you just say, hey, sorry, let me go cook lunch for my kid real quick. Mama Riketa already put the sandwich in the fridge. I just have to, I literally just have to warm this fucking sandwich up in the microwave. It takes 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Like, how hard is that? Nobody would complain like, ugh, this Riketa guy has fallen off hard. He is interrupting his streams to go cook SpaghettiOs for his son. Like, come on. Like, nobody, nobody in the fucking world would be thinking that. So there's no excuse. There's literally no excuse. He's just fucking drunk. He's wasted. I'll tell you what he was doing instead. Can I find this? I'll just show, you know, if I can manage, I will just show you guys what this guy's doing instead. And if not, I'll just describe it. This is how, we're, this is how we roll now on the 800 kilobits per second man at the internet. All right. My internet's actually loading. Oh, I don't want to, not, never mind. I take it back. I'm not saying that. I did not just say that my internet is loading. Because God fucking forbid if I speak that evil into the world. What the fuck is this? Okay, this. This is. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can load this fucker up. Uh oh, I don't think it's gonna happen, chat. Oh, it's trying his bets. Let's. Reduce this from hard quality to the quality that my my stream audience deserves. Spider 300 says, hey, Nick, can we please talk about butter dishes? Don't you fucking get me started. Have you bought a modern butter dish? Have you bought one of these things? 
Why don't they have handles? Little glass, you know, bloop, that's all you need. Why don't they have a handle? You say you got to grab the side of the butter dish. Oh, I don't know. Do you have children? Have you ever even seen a child? Hollywood has. Have you seen a child use butter? They get butter everywhere. It's all over the bottom of the dish. It fits in. He looks rough. I don't think the 144P is helping at all. <laughs> Not only does he have AIDS, he now has JPEG uh, artifacts. Inside, like a saucer, but it's rectangular saucer. I don't know what a rectangular saucer thing fits in. Kids slap butter all over the edges of that shit. And then they put the lid just right down on globs of butter everywhere. It's everywhere. So you're like, oh, I just want some butter. And you grab it and you're like, ew. Oh, God, it was like grabbing an Italian. It's so gross. Oh, I hate it. It's like put a handle on top. They used to put handles on top back when they did things right, back when they were American made, back in the 50s where women were at home. And the men put the handles on the butter dish because the women asked them to. But now women aren't home. And all the men are single. Hey, you guys. Know you need a handle. Guys. I'm going to try something experimental. I'm going to try to um, enhance only the audio. Uh, I'm going to enhance the audio in Ricada's room. You guys tell me if you can hear better, okay? Give me a second. They don't use the butter dish. It's an ashtray that's upside down. When I go to Target the next time, if I, if I don't see a butter dish with a fucking handle, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. I'm so mad. I bought like five butter dishes because I put one in the microwave. Don't ask why you put a butter dish in the microwave. There was no butter on this dish, but don't ask why. It doesn't matter. That's not Pyrex. You can't microwave a glass butter dish that isn't Pyrex. It launches glass shards into every fucking county around you. Don't do it unless you're trying to kill people in your house. Then do it twice. Don't microwave a butter dish, but just put a handle on top. So I've had to buy butter dishes because some kids throw them on the ground too. They're like, ah, oh. they pick it up. They're like, just like when they grab an Italian, they're like, ew, gross. And they throw it. That's what Germany did to Mussolini. And like they got butter all over their hands. They're like crying about the butter. It's like, stop touching all of the cabinets. Just wash your hand. Warm water. I don't know, use a paper towel. Just wipe it off. And they're like, it's oily. I know. So you have to buy another butter dish. None of them have handles. You know where you get butter dishes with handles? Goodwill. You know what they have on those? Homeless germs. Because they came from a cart in Seattle. That was the one thing that person took from their home when it was taken back by its original owners because they were squatting in it yesterday. God, I fucking hate butter. Why would you do, how would you know? How did you, I seriously. Oh no, that was like a weird tag. How did you know I hated butter dishes? Wait, God, so funny. The name of this video that audio played is One Hour of Silence Occasionally Interrupted by Pikmin. Which <laughs> Maybe, okay, the kids are in the back now. They're eating their SpaghettiOs and playing Pikmin. That's what's happening. They just booted it up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> T Man 2442 says, Ever try a butter bell? It's far superior to your average butter dish. You know why I love the internet? Do you know why? I am learning that there are echelons of butter dishes out there. I'm just a look, I my friends describe me as bougie. You know why? Because I won't stay at an econo lodge. Like, wow, there's only nine of us. We could probably all fit in a day's in. No. I don't want to be anywhere near any of you people. All in a day, like you mean one room at a day's in? Am I buying an entire day's in? No. Why don't we just get a better hotel room? I don't know, closer to what we're doing. Because you picked a day's in in Iowa. They describe me as bougie for this. Like... Look, when I go out in the woods, I just want to sleep on a Tempur-Pedic mattress at night. And I just want Jorge to read me stories in Espanol. Like, I want that to happen, and I will pay extra for it. But I'm learning now that I'm just a normal plebeian, Walmart shopper, Target shopper, when it comes to butter dishes. There's a whole world of butter dishes that I didn't know about. I feel like I've been lied to the entire time. by CNN. Ah. Uh. I really love butter, but I really hate butter. Okay. So, God has seen fit to give me enough internet to allow me to go pee pee. Uh, so I will comment on, I've heard this before. I've, I've watched um, Pay, Pay, Pay and Andy talk about it. Uh, 
this is this is like another one of his comedy skits. Like this is what he's given up in favor of of, of doing law streams. Is like I'm gonna make it. This this is like actually what's in his mind. I'm gonna work on my comedy craft. I'm gonna become an LA based comedian. I'm gonna become like Dick Masterson, aka Juju the Cow that gets sucked in the ass. My personal hero. I'm gonna move to LA. I'm gonna leave behind all this trad cath bullshit family man cringe. And I'm gonna fuck I'm gonna smash box. I'm gonna smash that young LA box on the reg. I just have to perfect my craft. I have to hone my skill. Comedy is like a skill like any other. You just practice more and more, and hopefully one day you'll get funnier. If you have any propensity to it whatsoever, right? So I just got to master it. Like, what's going to be my breakout piece? The butter dish. Everybody knows about butter dishes. Everybody in the, in the world has grown up with a uh, full tableware set and knows exactly what a butter dish is. And knows about how they're not really that much better than just unwrapping the uh, the wax paper that butter comes in and leaving it on the counter. Everybody understands this. And I can make a full eight minutes out of complaining about fucking butter dishes. Um, I don't know. Uh, that's, that's genuinely, that's the, that's the saddest fucking thing. That's better than the fucking spaghettios. That's like actually what he thinks. He thinks that one day his butter dish uh, skits will be enough, will be funny enough that he can make it in like LA comedy scenes. I'm I'm pretty convinced of that by now. There's a wrinkle in a fabric that I hung up on the wall that looks like the state of Maryland. It's kind of bugging me now. Let me ch <coughs> Sorry, I had to get rid of Maryland. It was haunting me. Uh okay, that's it for Rico. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.